David Beatty was born on January 17, 1871, in Stapley, Cheshire, England. He was the eldest son of Captain David Longfield Beatty, who served in the British Army. From an early age, Beatty showed a keen interest in the military and had a deep desire to serve his country. Beatty was educated at Kilkenny College and later at the Royal Naval College in Osborne. He graduated from the college in 1884 and joined the Royal Navy as a midshipman. He was posted to HMS Britannia, the flagship of the Mediterranean fleet, and spent the next few years serving in various parts of the world. Beatty's career in the Royal Navy was marked by several notable achievements. In 1891, he was promoted to lieutenant and served on HMS Victoria, a battleship that was part of the Mediterranean fleet. During his time on the ship, he participated in the bombardment of Alexandria in 1892, which was a key event in the Anglo-Egyptian War. Beatty's career continued to progress, and he was appointed commander in 1905. In 1910, he was promoted to rear admiral and was given command of the 1st Battlecruiser Squadron. Beatty was an innovator and played a significant role in the development of battlecruisers, which were faster and more heavily armed than traditional battleships. Beatty's leadership and bravery during World War I played a significant role in the outcome of several key battles. In 1914, he was appointed commander of the British Battlecruiser Squadron and led his ships into the Battle of Heligoland Bight, where they destroyed several German ships. In 1916, Beatty was promoted to Vice Admiral and was given command of the Grand Fleet's battlecruisers. He led the British forces at the Battle of Jutland, which was the largest naval battle of the war. Although the battle was a tactical draw, Beatty's aggressive leadership and tactical acumen played a significant role in limiting the damage suffered by the British fleet. After the war, Beatty continued to serve in the Royal Navy and was appointed First Sea Lord in 1919. He played a key role in the modernization of the Navy and oversaw several important initiatives, including the construction of new battleships and the development of naval aviation. Beatty retired from the Royal Navy in 1927 and was later appointed as Governor General of New Zealand. He served in this role until 1930 and was highly respected by the people of New Zealand for his dedication and service. David Beatty died on March 11, 1936, in London, England. He was remembered as a fearless and dedicated leader who served his country with distinction. His contributions to the Royal Navy and the outcome of World War I will be remembered for generations to come.